Hello everyone, I'm Mark Lida from Lida Law Firm, and today we're exploring the unique legal structure of OpenAI, the company that makes ChatGPT. From its inception as a nonprofit to its evolution into a groundbreaking type of corporate structure called a capped profit entity, OpenAI's story is not just about technological innovation, but also about legal innovations in the field of corporate structure and social entrepreneurship. Founded in December 2015 by a group of prominent tech leaders, including Sam Altman and Elon Musk, who's no longer involved, OpenAI originally articulated its mission statement by saying, OpenAI is a nonprofit artificial intelligence research company. Our goal is to advance digital intelligence in the way that is most likely to benefit humanity as a whole, unconstrained by the need to generate financial return. Since our research is free from financial obligations, we can better focus on a positive human impact. The early donors to OpenAI pledged over $1 billion, aiming to democratize AI and keep their research open to the public. OpenAI's initial years were marked by significant contributions to AI, like the development of OpenAI Gym, universe and a focus on ethical research. The founders of OpenAI saw this endeavor as a humanity scale project, one that might traditionally have been the domain of governments. But the founders of OpenAI believed that participants in the development of AI would have more influence than the governmental regulators would. So they started OpenAI as a nonprofit entity, a 501c3 organization with a commitment to public good free from the constraints of profit incentives. They would openly share their research and data for the benefit of all. And they went about the development of their journey of developing AI and eventually artificial general intelligence AI, which means AI that's smarter than any human. But as they progressed, a stark reality became apparent. Developing AI was not only intellectually demanding, but also financially intensive. Despite an initial goal of a billion dollars donated, they only received about 130 and a half million by 2019 and had insufficient funds for the scale of their endeavor, both in terms of computing power and in terms of the need to attract top talent of engineers, which tech companies usually do through giving away ownership or stock options, ownership in a company, but of course nobody technically owns a nonprofit, so they didn't have that option. So to address this funding challenge, OpenAI devised a unique solution, the creation of a for-profit subsidiary while keeping the nonprofit entity as the guiding force. This subsidiary capable of issuing equity was designed to attract capital and talent, but it remained under the nonprofit's mission and governance. So here's where the capped profit model comes into play. The for-profit arm was structured to limit the maximum financial returns to employees and investors at a maximum of 100 times their initial envelope. Investment. So this cap aims to balance safety and sustainability, ethics, and profit. Any value created beyond the cap is returned to the nonprofit for the benefit of humanity. This unique arrangement exemplifies OpenAI's commitment to its mission, even in the face of immense commercial potential. The nonprofit continued its governance role, overseeing all activities of the for-profit subsidiary. It also remained engaged in various charitable initiatives, contributing to students on basic income, economic impact research, and educational programs like OpenAI Scholars. This dual structure allowed OpenAI to preserve its core values while scaling its resources and capabilities. Shortly after announcing the capped profit structure, OpenAI entered into a strategic collaboration with Microsoft. This partnership involved a multi-billion dollar investment tranched, but crucially, OpenAI maintained its independence. Microsoft accepted to OpenAI's capped equity offer and agreed to leave AGI technologies and governance to the nonprofit and humanity. This partnership appears to reflect OpenAI's ethos and pragmatic approach to achieving its goals. Microsoft provides the scale of resources akin to the public sector, while OpenAI continues to steer the course of AGI development, prioritizing safety and the public good. Now, this was all put to the test when the nonprofit board ousted CEO Sam Altman and his co-founder Greg Brockman with little to no notice to them or Microsoft. Microsoft then promptly hired the ousted co-founders and the vast majority of OpenAI employees sent a letter to the OpenAI nonprofit's board saying they would all quit and go to Microsoft unless the board rehired Altman and Brockman. The board capitulated and rehired Altman and Brockman within days of their firing and three of the four board members who had voted for the firing resigned. 
The newly constituted board of directors has now been charged with investigating what the heck happened with all this, as well as charting a path forward for the governance, governance of this organization. AI technology can offer an immense benefits or detriments to society on a scale we can't even imagine. But its most important tool in steering the technology is the law. Its unique corporate structure is the thing that OpenAI believes will keep AI on the positive path. So these topics I talk about all the time, entity selection, corporate documents, etc. Don't treat them as afterthoughts if you are starting a business. If these topics are important enough for OpenAI to use as a means of st steering perhaps the most important technology in human history, then they are important enough for your business too. Okay. Thank you for watching. We at Light a Law Firm are passionate about helping entrepreneurs and passionate about the unique corporate structures that can lead to social good. I love this stuff. Like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the next video.